Hello, and thank you for tuning in to this short update about the Clutch Park Dam Repair and Fish Passage Project. My name is Beth Wenzel, and I am managing this project for the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District. After many years of planning and adjusting plans in response to concerns raised by community members, we are very excited to be constructing the Clutch Project which will consist of repairing the east side of the dam and creating a fish passage channel around the dam on the east side of the river. The project constru construction started in May of this year and will continue through late fall. Uh, MMSD has been working collaboratively with Milwaukee County Parks and the Department of Natural Resources on this project. Our design consultant has been Interfluve, and CW Preparo is the lead construction contractor. The objectives of the project are to reduce the risk of dam failure and allow native fish to move upstream and downstream to and from areas where they reproduce, find food, and grow. Before we get into the details of the project, I want to zoom out just to emphasize the importance of it. Uh, this map is a good illustration of how much river habitat we'll be able to open up for fish. The two largest remaining barriers to the migration of native fish on the lower 30 miles of the Milwaukee River are the Clutch Park Dam and Estabrook Falls. Uh, there is a, a, another partial barrier downstream of there that we're hoping to improve uh, in coming years. Um, but I'll, I'll save that discussion for another day. So currently native fish that are in Lake Michigan and are driven to uh, swim upstream to, um, to spawn, you know, will enter the river down here and they can only get up as far as Astorbrook Falls under most conditions. So with uh, a fishway completed at Clutch this fall, and uh, we are also working on a design for fish passage through Estabrook Falls, which we may be ready to construct as early as next year. That will allow fish to continue and access all of these areas of the river, including some really nice rocky habitat up in this upper portion of the river um, and some really good habitat in some of the tributaries, um, such as Pigeon Creek and uh, in the upper reaches of Uleo Creek, there's some really nice wetland habitat that's important for the reproduction of a lot of native fish. And on the right side of this slide, uh, those are just a few of the, the fish species that naturally migrate long distances, and so we know we'll benefit from these projects. Let's zoom back in and focus on Clutch. Uh, this is the project area. Uh, we've got the dam right here, so that's where we, we need to get fish around. And then this blue outlined area is the project area. So uh, trucks will be coming in um, through Sunny Point Road, uh, and then all of the work will be completed in this area. And I'll zoom in on that area in the next slide. So what is happening out there? Tree clearing has been completed. Uh, so um, we are moving on and we are removing some concrete and a shed um, currently. Uh, that should be done um, maybe by the time you're watching this video. Uh, after that, we'll be putting in some temporary coffer dams uh, so that we can uh, dewater the areas where we need to do some work. And so in order to do work around this dam, we've got to you know, put up a barrier so that we can pump water out and access some of these areas. Uh, then we'll be removing sediment near the dam. So there's a uh, big collection of, of sediment in this area that needs to be removed so that we can access the areas that need dam repairs. So we're anticipating um, all of that work to be completed this summer. And starting this summer and continuing through fall will be the construction of the fishway itself. And so that will entail digging out uh, all of this channel and bringing in some rock to stabilize it and then planting some of the upper reaches uh, with 
native plants and wrapping that with a, a biodegra biodegradable erosion control fabric uh, to provide some stability while the, the plants um, take over um, and grow up and provide that stability in the long term. So that'll look like this fishway ultimately will look like a, a series of riffles, which is just like some steeper, like a ramp of water. Um, and you'll have some rocky, shallower water there, and then separated by a number of pools that the fish can use for resting areas. Uh, when this first part up here of the fishway is completed, uh, they will be able to then put in this bridge that will uh, remain across the fishway. And that's primarily for long-term maintenance of the dam, as well as uh, you know to get in here uh, to maintain uh, the fishway and some of the vegetation in that area. Uh, the DNR will be installing fish monitoring equipment uh, probably early in the fall, and that will consist of uh, a device at the downstream end and another device that goes across near the upstream end that will essentially um, detect any uh, tags um, that are, you know, fish that are tagged will um, set, set off that monitoring device and the DNR will be able to know not just that a fish crossed, but they will know what fish. So each tag has a unique number that will let the DNR know what the species was, when it was tagged, and so on. And then planting will be ongoing throughout the project, but certainly completed in November. So at the end, this will all be planted in um, a mix of, of native vegetation. If you live near the project, you should expect some noise um, in the next several months. Um, some, of the, some of the noisier elements will be happening soon, specifically the, the steel sheet pile driving um, that, will, you know, that will basically sound like a lot of very loud banging, um, but fortunately it won't last very long, just maybe a week or so. Um, and then, of course, there will be a lot of noise from, from trucks and excavators, bulldozers, all that engine noise, um, you know, should be expected throughout the project. And, you know, generators will be running on the site as well. You can also expect some increased truck traffic. Um, I've highlighted here in green the routes that, that trucks will be coming. And as I mentioned, they'll be coming off of Bender Road on, onto Sunny Point Road and then turning into the project site. Uh, we don't have to close any roads for this project, um, but you will see some additional truck traffic. And then on the site itself, you know, for it, Generally won't be very visible, but if you're an adjacent neighbor or if you, you know, go over to the other side of the dam and look across, you'll probably see lots of bare dirt, piles of dirt and stone in the construction area. When all of the work is completed, it will look uh, like a stream that goes around the dam. So there's a similar fishway around the Mequon Thienesville Dam up in Thienesville. So here's an aerial view of that. Um, the river, the Milwaukee River flows in this direction. And so water flows into the fishway up here, goes around and then makes its way back into the river just downstream of the dam. And this is a photograph uh, that I took you know, from approximately this location looking across both sides. So you can see water is coming down this way and it's a little higher elevation, kind of closer to the top of the bank there. And then in the downstream portion, it's a little deeper into the channel. So higher banks, um, you know, lined with stone. And here's where you can see those those shallower riffles um, and then pools and kind of in sequence throughout the fishway. This is a photo of the Underwood Creek enhancement that we did in Wauwatosa. And I included it because I think it's a good example of what the vegetation is going to look like at the clutch site, uh, you know, within the 
early years after we complete construction. So we'll be planting, you know, some a few young native trees, some clusters of shrubs, um, and then there will just be a lot of native grasses and wildflowers throughout the site. Those are all the updates I have for today. If you have any questions or concerns about the project, or if you would like me to include you in more regular email updates uh, about this project, please send a message to me at this address and I will be in touch. Thanks again for taking the time to learn more about this project today, and I can't wait to share news about fish moving around the Clutch Dam someday soon. Have a great day.